Hello and welcome or welcome back. It's Blazing and today we are actually going to be playing dun dun dun, Hogwarts Legacy. So I have actually completed this game once already and I have a couple of playthroughs but I thought we would give it a whirl. I did actually create a character um, as I had a few recording issues However, we are going to create a new one for you guys to see the beginning. So, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graci graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Your sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. If only that letter were real. Uh, start game. So as you can see there are loads of options to choose from, however my selection is normally pretty quick. I'm not going to go too much into it just so that we can get into the game. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hair colour I believe is around this mark. I think that's pretty close to my own. But we need that style. Yeah. Okay, then I always pick the lowest, and I have no freckles, and I have no scars. My eyes are blue. So I believe it was actually that first pick. They're a bit darker. And I'm not going to mess with the eyebrows. As it's actually normally a pretty quick to get to selection. Uh, let's type this in. Oh no, I can't type it. Type it, can I? Uh, I'm so used to using my computer that I actually forgot that I can't. But I always go for the same name of a character because I'm boring like that. And we are going to start our journey. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some fit of goism in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, as it is, are. Of course. Why don't we speak on route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. For those who've actually gone further into the game, I'm curious if the person driving the carriage is Mr. Moon.
is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We did not know. was a close call. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Well Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I have to keep trying to bite my tongue, as I've done this intro so many times now that the words are sinking in. Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do 
you the do. The was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Doesn't look that faded to me, but okay. Mind your step. I'm wondering. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key? Whether I can do anything about the volume. A good question. Miriam spent years I had searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient it still magic. Seems to be picking up the game. Uh, terribly sorry. So, ancient magic. Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. They stopped talking and that should be a little better. It should still be picking up the game for you. But my mic shouldn't be picking up as, mu as much of the sounds. Um, I'll try my best to edit that down for you. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. This guy reminds me so is much of all the that even it's that not plot Goldemar there makes me here. think of um, the one who chooses to be a the sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! And now, in true Zelda-esque form, we have Your to break every pot with every you see. Thank you, sir. Why? Just because. Ah, up there. Do -do -do -do. We go this way. We're close you. now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself. Reparo. I like how after that, like almost blowing you off and everything, running across here is seemingly less windy. Almost there! Yeah, I'm sure there was more that, so. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Thing is, what he considers out of place, I consider very much in place. 
Uh, the minimap shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. And if we hold the up arrow, we can get a little bit of help with that. I don't typically use it, but I do use Revelio a lot. You'll get fed up of hearing. Revelio! Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. This statue... This may have been his home! May have been. Oh, I know what I've not thought of. There is a chest over here. I hadn't actually found it till the other day and I was on my first attempt at this uh, before my computer crashed. I was saying about how there's uh, two little characters sit sitting having a picnic and I thought it was a way back over there somewhere and it was like say on that cliff overhang uh, but actually those two little characters are down here just sat with their popcorn taking a look at the view uh, but just over here though there's a chest with a tiny little bit of gold in so we'll take that before we continue on. But yeah, I was um, going through this and I was like, there's only one area that I've never actually explored, and that's down the side there. Um, and then I'd almost forgot it again just then. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Can anyone guess where we are? Hello? <clears throat> so rude. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> uh, no way of being here. <laughs> mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Did you guess it? Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs>
so votes all their ingredients. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vote number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. He reminds me of Filch. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, I'm darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. So he's going to start talking in a moment, but I'm mostly when keeping quiet because of the talking. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Yeah, that always amuses me. It's like we have to grant access to the person with the key, but then they wait for my character to also go in. Revelio. I suppose it could be there. that they're waiting for. Something. Move a bit uh, closer and try again. For it to make it easier for them so that they're not being left with me going what was going on. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I, I do. don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? 
Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Excuse but me. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? Revelio. That glow again, but on the floor. Just checking there's no chest. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Think. Think. Done. You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically be slotted into your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. However, you do not give me Nox to put said wand out. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. I think these guys are cool. Look out! Protego! Adio! Defendo! Levioso! Deposo! to actually do something. Thank you. Shout at me. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Follow the butterflies. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. There's another one over here, I think. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. So there's somewhere. There we go. There's the third one, which means it should be around here. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here.
So hold a triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counter attack. Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. I've already been doing that um, without realising, to be fair. Oops. Track of which way this way. And it's telling me how to sprint. Rebellion. I don't believe there's any chests here, but I could be wrong. No. Lumos. I think I've just missed a chest. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. 
I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever gonna visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. I think that thing needs glasses. It aims a little off. Sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I've seen that so many times now, and each time it gives me full body shivers. <laughs> oh, good. We haven't missed Excuse the sorting me? ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony?
Tinius, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I can't help it. You're not supposed to like Black, but... There's something about him that I just... He seems cool. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. So I've linked my account with my... is it one brother's account? Uh, which sorted me into Gryffindor. However, there is one house I have yet to even start the story of. So... Is that just accepted? Better be uh, Gryffindor! Oh no. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I was going to be a Hufflepuff. As I've not yet started, I've only got I think to level 2 as a Gryffindor and you can see that my previous run to was actually for a level 1 Gryffindor uh, so oh, I haven't and one more done thing. much of the story as a Gryffindor Due to the unfortunate injury um, on the pitch in last spring's final this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether uh, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Get sorted and then not even allowed to have your tea. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. So yeah, I've... I think... My most uncommon for Ravenclaw to begin as a is year. max level. This should be quite an My adventure. Southern is about halfway through the game. To it. I remember the then first time I started a Gryffindor. A Got to you level one, maybe level I two. Am a Gryffindor. And Never could remember the then this one was supposed to be a Hufflepuff. Password. And I guess password. we're actually going to be leveling a Gryffindor. The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, 
Go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. So, I am going to call it there. Um, we've got past the introduction and made a start on our character. We've accidentally selected our house. Um, as I say, I had every intention of playing a Hufflepuff, but the Gryffindor questline is just as new to me as the Hufflepuff one. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one where we can begin our classes and perhaps a little bit of exploration. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, bye!